there is a feature hidden in plain sight in Canva Pro that will dramatically change the way that you work forever. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what it is, how to use it, and then at the end, I'm gonna show you how to add a little bit of AI into it to take things to a completely different level. So if you wanna create more designs in less time, get more work done, make more money, then watch this video to the end. I promise this is not one that you wanna miss. Let's hop into my computer and I will show you examples and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, let's get into it. All right, for this first example, let's pretend that we wanna print out a bunch of employee of the month posters. And we have them all for the past year, but we just never got around to hanging them up. So we're gonna do it all at once. So I went ahead and created some dummy data. So I have pretend names here, and then I have the months. Actually used a really cool extension called Prompt Loop that uh, I might do a video on later. It's really, really fun, but that's for another day. Okay, so this is the data that we're going to use and it's going to show up on our templates. Now let me show you how to actually access Bulk Create. Come back into Canva. Mine is down here on the bottom left. That's because I've used it before. Remember, this is only for Canva Pro users. Uh, also, if you have the Canva for Education, Canva for Nonprofits, all of those will work, just not on the free plan. You're not gonna see this on a free plan. So if you're searching for it, you're not gonna find it. If you don't have it there like I do, come up to apps and just type in Bulk Create should autofill. You'll be able to find it pretty quick. So now when we click on Bulk Create, you're gonna see a couple of things. Number one, you're gonna see enter data manually. That's what we're gonna do for this one. You can do upload a CSV, but fortunately we can copy and paste. So you really don't even need to mess with the CSVs most of the time if you don't want to. Now, when you click on that, you're going to see name and email. Those are just the default placeholders. Don't worry about those. So for this, we're just gonna replace that with month. Really doesn't even matter. We could use email. Uh, and then we're gonna actually come over here and take all of the names that I created. I'm just going to paste those. And this is why you really don't even need to worry about Google Sheets for the most part, because you can just copy and paste the data. So I know a lot of you will probably have it outside of a Google Sheet anyway. So you can just copy and paste. So now we have that. And I also want to add images. For this one, I'm going to show you guys a really cool method of, of doing this. So this is just for an example. I'm going to use this free tool called thispersondoesnotexist.com. These are all AI generated people. So I'm gonna use those pictures. Is that Drake? <laughs> Looks like Drake's cousin. Fake. I cheated a little bit and used a couple people twice, so. But now that we have that, let's just go ahead and click done. And now we have to put these as variables inside of this template. So first name that will go here. So what I'm gonna do is click on that element, come to the more button come to connect data and then connect it to name. It's gonna replace it with this little short code. And then down here, employee of the month, October, 2020. Let's go ahead and change that. Connect data to month. Now it changed the format a little bit. We'll see how that comes out. Connect data image. Okay, let's continue and let's see what we get. Pretty sweet. Now, the only thing that you might want to do differently is, like I said, that formatting got a little bit wonky, but you can just edit that after the fact and you'll be good to go. Now, a lot of the times when you do these in bulk, you'll have the issue that comes up where things are either too long or they just don't look right. So always go through and check. Don't just create them and, and publish them or whatever it is you're going to do with them. Always go in and double check. You might need to do a little bit of tweaking, which brings me to the AI part of this video. Let's say that I want to create YouTube thumbnails from a list of blog post titles. So I'm going to turn all these blog posts into videos and I have all of these titles and I want to create thumbnails, including those captions. However, you don't want to have all that text in a YouTube thumbnail. So if I were to use this data in one of these bulk creates, it would be overflowing, right? As you see, I have like 626 posts. So that's a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a free add-on called GPT for Sheets and Docs. All you have to do is have a API code. Uh, everyone has one if you have a ChatGPT account. I created a video that goes deep into detail on this tool. Definitely go check that out. I will link to it in the description and hopefully put a card up here that you can go watch it at. All right, but what I want to do is I'm essentially going to bring ChatGPT functionality into this spreadsheet. So let's say that these titles are too long and I want them to be short enough 
that I could maybe use them in Canva's bulk create. So I'd want them to be like under seven words or so. So let me show you kind of an example. Let's just come into Canva and let's just create, let's pretend that we're creating a whole new uh, YouTube thumbnail template. And let's say that we're using it for my boy, fake Drake, say he bought my, bought my website and he wants to change all the thumbnails and put his face on every single one of them. All right. What I could do. Okay. So now let's create the prompt. Let's do shorten this title into fewer than seven words. Make it click baity. Make sure it keeps the same meaning. All right. And I'm going to do equals GPT. And again, this part is going to be confusing if you haven't watched that other video, uh, but just bear with me. It's not that complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create essentially what is a prompt, not essentially it is a prompt. And then I'm selecting the cells that it's going to impact. So this should create a shortened version of that. And it did. And then if I drag that down, I don't want to do it for all of them. Let's go do it for 10 for this example, right? It shortened everything. Everything now is below the amount of words that, uh, that we would want. So what we can do, is let's say that I wanted to do bulk create on this one, right? I could come in here and do bulk create, enter data manually, title, paste, done. Just like we did before guys, nothing different. And let's see what happens. Just some basic resizing. And by no means are these amazing thumbnails. I literally just whipped these up for this example, right? Okay. So again, not beautiful, but that is going to save a bunch of time. If you want to just quickly create a bunch of thumbnails. Also, you could sell this as a service make them better looking than this, but you could sell this as a service and actually make a good amount of money just completely redoing thumbnails for people. Let's give them a little glow up. Yeah. All right, I wanna do one more thing and then I'm gonna let y'all go, all right? Let's say that I wanted to create new thumbnails from scratch, right? I have all these titles and I wanna come up with design inspiration. So we'll do another prompt, watch this. Give me a thumbnail design idea for this. And then I will do the same thing I did before. Thumbnail design idea for this would be a colorful and eye-catching graphic featuring a YouTube logo with a camera lens in the center surrounded by various icons representing different types of content such as gaming, cooking, travel, and more. Sweet, right? So if I wanted to, I could just go through and let's go ahead and drag and drop, drag all these. It's going to give me a whole bunch of ideas. So if I wanted someone to totally redo these, this is a good way to get not amazing, but decent ideas for what you can, can do with your design. And if you want, you can combine all these and just do whatever you want with these things, guys. But think about big picture, how you can get them all to work together. Chat GPT, bulk create, go in there and really figure out some ways to get more done, be more creative and have more fun, make more money in the process. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you like this video, let me know down in the comments and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. See ya.